At dawn, the cramped slave quarters are dimly lit by a flickering oil lamp. Augustus, a middle-aged slave with worn features, stirs from his makeshift bed of straw and rushes to get ready for another grueling day, driven by the hope that another day closer to freedom awaits. He silently moves through the sleeping quarters, careful not to wake his fellow slaves. By morning, Augustus, dressed in tattered clothing, joins the other slaves in the courtyard. Overseers bar quarters made by the master as they prepare for their tasks of the day. The distant sounds of soldiers drilling and horses neighing remind them of the ongoing Punic War. Faster, you lazy dogs. The master expects the crops harvest by sundown. During the day, under the scorching sun, Augustus toils in the fields alongside other slaves. They harvest crops, sweat dripping down their faces, making the collar they wear around their necks even more uncomfortable. The overseer watches closely, whip in hand. You call this work? I've seen children with more strain. Through noon, a brief break allows Augustus to catch his breath. He shares meager rations with fellow slaves, discussing rumors of the war. I heard they're drafting more men. If times are getting more desperate, soon it will be us that they draft. In the afternoon, back to the fields, Augustus continues working as the sun beats down mercilessly. His tired eyes occasionally glanced at the distant hills, wondering if the war will bring freedom or further hardship. Somewhere over those hills, hope is closed yet so far. As the sun sets, Augustus returns to the cramped quarters. He's exhausted, muscles aching from another day of labor. The flickering light oil lamp casts shadows on the worn faces of the slaves. Slaves gather in hushed tones, sharing stories and dreams of liberation. The distant echoes of war drums and marching soldiers create an ominous backdrop. One day, we'll be free. The gods can ignore our suffering forever. The slaves settle in for the night, their bodies weary from the day's toil. Augustus, lying on his straw bed, reflects on his family, long separated by the cruelty of slavery. He clutches a worn-out pendant, a reminder of time before the Punic Wars engulfed their lives. Before they needed more slaves to harvest food for the men battling in the ongoing war. I'll see my family again, even if I have to defy the gods themselves. The story of Augustus, a slave working in agriculture who not only works for his master but the entirety of the Roman Empire. In some ways, he's on the front lines of the war, fighting every day as the slaves carry the burden of an uncertain fate. The Punic Wars, a distant conflict, cast a long shadow over their lives. Yet, in the face of adversity, the spark of hope remains. The central point is clear, the resilience of the human spirit, fueled by the unwavering belief that one day, the chains of oppression will shatter, and freedom will reign. The struggle continues, echoing through the annals of history, reminding us that even in the darkest times, the flame of hope endures. The end.